Smith and Dr. Shaquille O'Neal. Welcome to the NBA on 2K Sports. Our game tonight featuring the Cleveland Cavaliers as they go up against the Thunder out in Oklahoma City. And for Oklahoma City, prior to the game, coach commented on their level of confidence in the locker room and he feels that they are prepared with a very strong game plan at the various matchups. We're going to be watching Kyrie Irving tonight, fellas. Here's a guy who can just dazzle you with his ability to break down a defense. Is he the best ball handler in the NBA right now? That's a tough question. Well, if he's not the best, he's right up there. Yeah, well, well that's, that's true. He's obviously. certainly in the top two, who, three. Who else? Oh, right. Stephen Curry. You know what I'd like to say about Steph? What's that? He makes it look effortless. Listen, well, Kyrie doesn't get enough credit for how strong his fundamentals <laughs> are, but you know why I really like Kyrie, Kenny? Why? Jersey's in the building. Oh. Jersey, stand up. I don't know. Is that Jersey from New York? is in the know. building. <laughs> his dad's not from New York. Cut yes, it out. Is. No, he's Dad's not. from New York. He works in New York. No, he's from he's, Jersey. He was in, he's I used from to the babysit Bronx. him when he was little. He's, no, his dad's from the Bronx. You used to older than you. You yes. used to babysit Kyrie old. Irving? Yes. So that's what happened. Oh, my God. Here's Kevin Harlan. Mm -mm -mm -mm. here in Oklahoma City, Oklahoma, as the Thunder play one at home. Buckle yourselves in, everybody. It's the NBA on 2K Sports. This is Kevin Harlan, and by my side are analysts Greg Anthony and Doris Burke. From the sideline, we'll have the Hall of Famer David nice Aldridge. Game, huh? We'll be hearing from him in just a bit. It'll be the Thunder off the tip. Look at Cleveland's starting group. Smith and LeBron filling out the wings. Love and Thompson, the hard rebounding post pair. And it's Irving at the point. Now, here's Oladipo. Top of the key, Ilyasova. Here's Adams. First shot, first basket. He's out of the blocks fast. Two big-time teams, powerhouse ball clubs facing off here, Doris. 
These are the games, even as a broadcaster, that bring special energy, not to the broadcast, but to the game overall, fans and us included. I think for players, for fans, for broadcasters, the schedule comes out initially, right? And the first thing you do is you look down over the calendar and you circle certain dates. And today, that's one of those days. We get juice just like the fans do, don't we? Oh, huh? no question about it. We can, there's a different energy in the building tonight. Yeah, absolutely. Here's Oladipo following the basket by LeBron James. Screen by Adams. To the middle, Westbrook passes to Adams. Good D by Thompson. On defense, Oklahoma City. And let's catch up with our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. Kevin, I got a few minutes with Billy Donovan. He said he knows it's a test. This is one of the most dangerous offenses in the league. He told me, we can't shut them down. That's unrealistic. But if we stick to our principles, if we communicate with each other and take away the easy things, we'll give ourselves a good chance. Back to you, Kevin. Okay, Dave, thanks. So a little bit worried about containing the opposing offense today. There was a lot to be worried about. I mean, they're not an easy opponent to face because of that offense. Uh, it's going to take some serious defensive game planning. They've watched a lot of film on the other side, but now they have to do it in real time. The Thunder shooting their first free throws of the game. And just to mention, a season ago, they were very comfortable at the line, hitting about 78% of their free throws. That free throw good from Ilya Sova. And both free throws good for Ilya Sova. If you look at the Cavs offense, I think there's a lot to like. They can shoot it. They're sure handed with the basketball and they're very good at attacking the offensive glass. Now here is Irving trying to get open is Thompson. Offensive rebound. No good on the shot. And so it's Oklahoma City with it. Westbrook dishes to Ilya Sova. Back to Westbrook. Here's Roberson. And again, Oklahoma City, no good. And Doris, you talk about the offensive rebounding for the Cavaliers with Tristan Thompson and Kevin Love. Uh, you've got your hands full. Oh, Kevin, these are elite players on the offensive glass. And as a defense, it's hard enough containing LeBron and Kyrie. Now you bring help. Their bigs are at the rim cleaning up any misses. What a great recipe for success. And here's Oladipo following the three-pointer by Kyrie Irving. Here's Westbrook. And that one goes in as he is fouled. It'll be three points if he converts at the line. From the opening tip, he's been active and working for good looks. He's been pretty accurate. For Oklahoma City, they have gone two for two in the game at the line. And the Thunder from 2011 to 2014 made the Western Conference Finals twice as well as the NBA Finals while still one of the youngest teams in the league. They had, Greg, all the makings of a dynasty. You felt like they were destined to win a championship and maybe multiple ones. Now you're not so sure. It's a tough business and being very good often isn't good enough. Here's Oladipo. Tristan Thompson picking up that last bucket. To the inside. Yes, and it's Irving picking up the assist. And Thompson becoming so good at getting a shot up at the right angle so it can't be blocked. Oladipo outside. And Robertson has it in the corner. No good on the triple. The Cavaliers have gone 4 of 7 from the field, shooting over 50%. Outside Irving. From deep. Here's Thompson. It's rebounded by Oklahoma City. And, and you know, coaches just love players who they can count on to give that effort defensively. Yeah, he's reliable on defense. Doesn't allow a shooter any separation to get comfortable. Now, here's Westbrook. Quiet so far offensively, searching for his first points of the game. 59 seconds left to play in the first quarter. 
to the paint. Here's Ilyasova. An easy layup after coming off the pick. Yeah, another nice bucket down low. They've really been able to work the ball into the post effectively here so far. Now here's LeBron. Feeds to Thompson. Smith kicks to Irving. Some nice passing by Cleveland here. And Adams sends it back. Just three to shoot. And it's out of bounds. Uh, they say last touch by Adams. And Oklahoma City going with a whole new group out there. And the Cavaliers will go with a different look here. Channing Fries checked in for Tristan Thompson. Jefferson comes in for Kevin Love. Elon Shumpert is checked in for Smith. And Mo Williams subbed in for Kyrie Irving. And out of bounds as the Thunder gain possession. Twenty-seven seconds left here in the opening quarter. Payne kicks to Collison. There's the pick. This is tomorrow. Will not go. This is off the front iron. Jefferson against Singler. James outside. On deep. It's a tie game in Oklahoma City. And we'll be back with you for the start of the second quarter when we return. And a moment now to hear from Stephen Adams as he reflects back in life growing up as the youngest of 18 children back in New Zealand. So like the youngest over there has to do everything, like all chores, pretty much 18 years of being a rookie. That's pretty much all it is and people just beat you up for no reason. <laughs> Hard to imagine growing up in such a huge family, but it sounds like maybe it prepared him for life in the NBA. Yeah, I'd say it might have toughened him up a little bit, that's for sure. Wow, 18? I, that is mind-boggling. And off we go, a close game now starting the second quarter. What do you guys think about the Thunder here in this one? I tell you what, defensively, they have been in tune with one another as intense as I've seen. Well, they trust each other, and that's something you establish in practice and in games, and you don't see a ton of miscommunication out there. They've got Kyle Singleton, Nick Collison out there with Ennis Cantor. Then there's Anthony Morrow, and it's Payne at the point guard position. That's the lineup in the game for Oklahoma City. Okay, well, let's check in with David Aldridge, who's reporting from the sidelines. Well, guys, it seems at times that Russell Westbrook can put up a triple-double at will. But he said, everybody thinks that I care about numbers and things like that, but I really don't. I don't think about who shoots, how many times I shoot. That really doesn't matter to me. I just like to win. All that matters is if we win. Kevin? Thanks, D.A., one of the most competitive players in the NBA. The long arms of Fry really uses his length well inside. The Cleveland coach, Teron Lue, of course, played 11 years in the NBA. Started, came off the bench, won titles with the Lakers, played on the worst team in the league. I mean, that breadth of experience seems to serve him well as a head coach. He's certainly seen enough. Jefferson passing to Fry. Shumpert gets a wide open look. It's good. Great play by Williams to set it up. Shumpert's got his first three points of the game. How about the passing? They are moving the ball without any thought, without any individual agenda. It's deflected. And here we go. Shumpert into the hoop. Finished off the break. Shumpert's got his second bucket of the night. And it seemed like they couldn't get anything to fall in that opening quarter, but you could just feel the momentum starting to shift. Payne kicks tomorrow. Shot to stop the run. It's tipped. Williams with the ball. 
He hasn't scored yet. That I'm sure will change. LeBron against Collison. And the shot counts. He's Hit. fouled, and it's a chance That's for a three-point play. And Lou gives Coach Doc Rivers credit for seeing the coaching potential in him when he didn't see it in himself. You're right, Kevin. Rivers told him, you could coach for me. And Teron wasn't so sure. Thought coaching sounded like too much work. Six years later, change of heart, called Doc to ask for a job, and the rest is history. Adams, he's checked in for Oklahoma City. Westbrook comes in for Anthony Morrow. Cleveland also making some changes. Love comes in for LeBron. And Dudley, he's subbed in for Jefferson. Want to survey in the NBA doors. Who would you say right now are the best at attacking the basket? Well, I think obviously James Harden is a guy who comes immediately to mind. Somebody who can average 10 free throws a game over the course of a long NBA season. His ability to, to bait the defender into drawing that kind of contact. You wouldn't say that guy's electrifying in terms of his athleticism and dunking, but in terms of being that offensive player, and to me, the best offensive players are the ones who can get to the free throw line. Because on a night you don't have it going, guess what? Get myself to the free throw line. Start to manufacture some things. Sometimes, though, they get that bad label of being selfish because they take it in what seem incredible odds as they take it in the lane with all kinds of defense in their way. Yeah, and I, I, I don't like the term selfish. And, and you're right. That's what the narrative is out there, Kevin. But the reality is in the NBA, as you know, sometimes you need a guy who can string together three solid minutes of scoring. And that's what makes it fun for us. You know, James Harden, Steph Curry, Clay Thompson, those guys who can really get rolling offensively. So fun. And they like contact. Guys like that are fearless. And sometimes that does not become a big part of an analysis of what they do. But they've got to go in there with guts. Guts? Huh? How, how, how would you think about this? How, about, how would you like to have been the size of Allen Iverson? Right. What a great example. And yeah. drive in fearless, there. Fearless, right? So tough. Fearless and tough to go. Now, here's Westbrook. He's been patient so far, nothing yet on the scoreboard. And it's in there. Now, I'm not sure how much more we can say about this guy's offensive game. He's so gifted. Plays like that are just simply routine at this point. Irving against Westbrook. It's a pick by Love. Shumpert with a screen for Irving. No good on the three. And they're trailing by eight. Singler outside. Outside Westbrook. Payne with a screen for Westbrook. Gets the three-pointer to fall. Westbrook's got five now. You know, the step slow on the defensive end, and it cost them three points. Bad decision. Every year, they'll always put out an NBA survey of who is the toughest to guard. No surprise that Russell Westbrook is almost always at the top of the list of those surveys. He just great strikes fear in opposing defenders. And, and Kevin, it's a result of several factors in terms of why he tops that list. He has the game and the body to punish you for all four quarters, and he never lets up in his intensity. And also a knack for putting players who are caught sleeping on posters. It is both physically and mentally draining guarding a guy like Westbrook. All the credit goes to the defense, preventing a terrific finisher like that from throwing it down. Shumpert, no good. The Thunder have gone two of five from the field here in the second quarter, shooting 40%. <laughs> 1.21 left in the second quarter. Westbrook dishes to Adams. Goes back up. It's tipped. And it's out of bounds. The Thunder able to retain possession. A different look for Oklahoma City. Roberson comes in for Singler. And it's Oladipo in for Cameron Payne. Cleveland also making some changes. Thompson comes in for Channing Fry, And J.R. Smith subbed in for Iman Shumpert. Now here's Oladipo. Looking for his first basket still in this one. There's a minute left to play here in the half. Westbrook passes to Cannon. Six on the shot clock. And again, no good by Oklahoma City. Looked like it might drop for him. And you know, that has to frustrate him just a bit. That's one of his favorite spots on the floor. And it's good for two. Love's got his first points of the night. I tell you, that, that timing and that awareness Love has near the rim is something you simply can't teach. There's a good screen. Cantor kicks to Oladipo. And here's 
Westbrook from the arc. He made that one. Basket number three for him. He's also missed two. Well, after hitting zero from distance in the first, that's his second make this quarter. Westbrook against Irving. Thompson and Adams sends it back. And here's Westbrook. Eight points for him. Adams with the screen on Irving. And here's Westbrook from the arc. Boy, you got to love the defensive effort contesting that shot by Kyrie. Just trying to frustrate his man on the defensive end. And we finish one half of basketball. Cavaliers lead by six. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge standing by courtside. David. Thanks a lot. Kyrie, what was your plan for tonight? I was trying to get assist in the beginning, and um, I'm just having a good time out here. Got it going a little bit. Enjoying myself. Okay, Kyrie, we'll see you in the second half. Thanks a lot. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you, David. And we'll be back for the third quarter of action following halftime. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. And we hope you've enjoyed our first half of action. I'm Ernie Johnson welcoming you back. Shaquille O'Neal is right there. Kenny the Jet Smith is right there. And this here is the halftime report. The first quarter for the Cavaliers was fairly even. Nothing seemed to give way on either side of the scoring column as they wrapped up the period all knotted up. They really touched on the right formula in the second quarter as they were able to pull out to a six-point lead before the halftime break. Kenny, your thoughts. How are the Cavaliers playing? Well, they made a concerted effort to get out on the fast break. Dunks, alley-oops, run the lanes at every opportunity, and it's wearing the defense down. And, big fella, let's get your thoughts on the Thunder. Well, they're definitely struggling with their offensive efficiency. Anytime you're shooting in the low 30s from the floor, you're not going to put yourself in a position to win. They look too predictable right now. They need to do a better job of adjusting to what they're seeing from the defense. And that wraps up halftime as the game is set to get back underway. Let's send it back to Kevin Harlan and crew. They are standing by courtside. Welcome back to Oklahoma City, everyone. You can see Chesapeake Energy Arena there in the background as the cars stream down I-40. And now the start of the second half. Neither side jumping out ahead through the first two quarters. Russell Westbrook really making a difference here. And in terms of points in that first half, you know, he's now at a point where we expect him to perform that way. Well, he's given us every reason to anticipate big scoring outbursts, and tonight, no exception. Cleveland leading by six. Checking out the group for Teron Liu to start the second half. Sharpshooters Irving and J.R. Smith are the backcourt duo. LeBron and Love, the two superstar forwards. And it's Thompson in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. Kicks to Robertson. Fires the three. And that one goes out of bounds. Last touch by Westbrook. The Cavaliers shooting in this game, 45%. And as the second overall pick back in 13 out of Indiana, Victor Oladipo, while he's had a solid start to his career, you know, stardom still, I think, is what he aspires to achieve. I mean, he's got the tools from a physical standpoint, uh, but the, the decision-making and the perimeter shooting, two areas that he's got to improve. And then defensively, which was where I thought he would 
be a game changer, hasn't really excelled as much as I think he's capable of. Second half of basketball, just over a minute played so far. He dishes it to Westbrook. From 15 feet away, a wide open look here for Oladipo. That's good, and so Westbrook comes up with the assist. Westbrook's got his fourth assist with that last one here tonight. And when you take a look at Oladipo, such a fun guy to watch develop. Gee, where does he need to take that next step in your opinion? Uh, believe it or not, I think he needs to focus on defense. Huh. Came into the league projecting to be a top-level defender. And while he collects blocks and steals, I think his production defensively has lagged a bit as he's really focused on his offense. And we've got an update here, so let's check in with David Aldridge reporting from the sideline. Well, Kevin, we know that the Thunder hired Billy Donovan as its new head coach. In his two decades at the University of Florida, he led them to two national titles with players like Al Horford and Joakim Noah. A defensive-minded coach, he's developed into a great offensive mind. And fellas, that's what he's trying to bring to OKC, moving the floor, as he calls it, creating space for their great scorers to operate. Ball movement, player movement, that's where the league is going, D.A., thanks. And out of bounds is the Thunder gain possession. Just keep things simple. No reason to rush things there. A different look for Oklahoma City. Anthony Morrow's checked in for Victor Oladipo. And Cameron Payne subbed in for Russell Westbrook. Richard Jefferson, he's checked in for Cleveland. Ramon Shepard has come in for Smith. Thunder trailing by four. Two minutes gone in this third quarter now. This is a Julius so The feed now to sink. He kicks it to Payne. Six to shoot. I'm open. And stolen by Williams. Outside Jefferson. Outside Williams. James dishes to Williams. Good, and the assist goes to LeBron. Williams has got five. And Doris, I know you shot a lot of free throws in your day, got to the line often. What goes into the mentality, an aggressive style, or, or even art form of getting to the line? You know, I like the way that last part of that question was phrased, the art form, because that's exactly what it is, you know. One, as a guard, you can't have any fear in attacking the rim with bigger bodies around you. You can't be afraid of contact. And, in fact, there is an art form to sort of leaning in without committing an offensive foul. So there's a real touch and flair and confidence it takes to be a guard who gets to the free throw line consistently. Now, Singler. Mo Williams missing from long range. And there's a minute 45 left in the third quarter of the game. Shot clock at six. And it's Payne in the corner. From the baseline. And that one goes long. The Cavaliers leading by six. Here's Williams. And it's blocked. They get it back. For Oklahoma City, they've gone two or seven for the field in the third. That leaves room for improvements here. There's the pick. Singler with it. Jefferson picks him up. The dish tomorrow. Let's the three fly. Cavaliers with the rebound. Fry's got three rebounds so far in the game. LeBron kicks to Shumper. LeBron against Ilyasova. James, the pass to Williams. That one drops for him. Seven points in the game. Well, LeBron James, just the all-around game on display again, as complete a player that we have ever seen. Payne kicks to Singler. Back to Payne. Outside Collison. Ilya Sova inside the line. The pit gave him all the room he needed, and he knocks down the Jay. The Cavaliers leading by six. Now eight seconds separating the two clocks. Williams kicks to James. Count it. LeBron's got his second bucket. They're getting on a roll inside. Their last three field goals have come from the paint. Now here's Payne. He hasn't yet put up any points in this one.
here is Ilya Sova. Got it off in time, but it's no good. And we've reached the end of the third. Cleveland ahead, leading by... And thanks for joining us, folks. The fourth quarter of play should begin momentarily. Thunder trailing by eight. The Stash Brothers, Cantor and Adams inside. Westbrook and Oladipo, the athletic backcourt duo. And it's Roberson in at the three set. That's the lineup out there for the Thunder. Westbrook can't get it to go. Boy, the defense can't be so relaxed when he has a look like that. Pass to Love. Back to Irving. The pass to Thompson. He's off on that one. Now Oklahoma City takes it the other way. You know, despite his cold shooting, his team is still winning. Oladipo outside. Cantor sets the pick for Oladipo. Five to shoot. And two shots coming up at the line as he gets fouled on the shot. I think everyone knows Cleveland is the team to beat in the East. They steamrolled through the Eastern Conference a year ago. And I, I think as long as their roster stays pretty much intact, they've got to continue to exert that dominance. And this Cavs team, a veteran-laden group, Doris, no question about that. And they're great, but do they have a way to get even better? Well, it's interesting because their core players are either at their peak or perhaps on the downswing. And they probably need to luck out in the draft or free agency to move the needle from here. And Cantor drops them both. Among the league's big men, he stands out for his free throw shooting. He's always steady there. On the wing, Irving. A little over a minute of the fourth quarter gone right now. Back to Smith. Jacks up a three. Here's Thompson. Leaps for it, and it's out of bounds. Last touch by Thompson. Thunder trailing by six. And Oladipo kicks to Adams. Stolen by Thompson. Westbrook with the block. Smith against Oladipo. Screen by Adams. And Oladipo kicks to West. Good on the three-point shot. Watch out. Now that he's got his first three of the half, there might be more in store. To the middle. Here's Love. And the dunk by Love. Hey, guys, that takes vision and timing to put it on time and on target. Oladipo dishes to Westbrook. Pass to Adams. Beyond the arc. Good on that shot. And with that, the Cavalier lead is cut down to just two points in the bucket from Roberson. The Cavaliers have gone one of five from the field here in the fourth. A lot of this is just the one make. Love with the screen on Westbrook. Outside Irving. He feeds it to Love. Cleveland moving the ball around. Five on the clock. Cleveland gets it back. Thompson passes to Smith. Outside Irving. To the wing right side. Set up, set up. Let him shoot that. And Love has it in the corner. Smith outside. Here's the three. 
That shot misses. Nice team from Oladipo. And Roberson gets to Oladipo. Feeds it to Westbrook to tie it up. And it's Westbrook again missing. Cleveland's gone 0-3 so far in the fourth quarter from long range. Gets the three-pointer to fall. We all know that Irving wants to be the man to hit that shot. And when he takes it, he usually finds a way to finish. Now here's Westbrook. Dishes it to Oladipo. Cancer with a screen on Love. Oladipo against Love. It's Oladipo on the wing. Releases from 15. Good D by Love. The Cavaliers leading by five. Smith dishes to Irving. 106 left in the fourth quarter. That doesn't go in either for Irving. Oladipo for three. And it's Oladipo again missing. Cleveland's gotten just one of four three-pointers to go down for them here in the fourth. Unloads from 13. Tries again. And there's the nice layup by Time out, time out. And now a seven-point Cavalier Pardon. lead. You just no let up, guys. They just keep coming at you. This is as close to a done deal as you can get. He's checked in for the Thunder. James checked in for the Cavaliers. All right, let's catch up with our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. Well, over that last break, Kevin, I got a chance to listen to what Billy Donovan said to his team. He told them to stick with it. He said, this game is right here, guys. This is our game to take. Precision, purpose, and poise. Kevin, we'll see if they can get it done. And it's Westbrook missing. And the great shooters know when they've got enough opening to go for the three. I didn't think it was a bad choice on that possession. And Adams sends it back. It's nine seconds separating the shot clock and game. Oladipo, the pass to Ilias Sope. And again, Oklahoma City, no good. They've been doing a great job of sharing the ball. And guys, shot A comes to mind for me because right now that offense, it's a smooth operator. Now Irving. So we see the Cavaliers get the win here. They seem to relish their role as the bad guy here tonight. Yeah, you know, Kevin, I sense that as well. I mean, they really did feed off all of that negative energy this crowd was directing at them. I mean, they turned it around and used it as motivation to close out a significant win. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thanks, Kevin. Tristan, congrats on the win. What was what was coach's focus going into the game tonight? Uh, coach got after us, told us to start. You know, we got to play defense. Just can't come in here and just let them you know, make a score opportunity. We got to play defense and get back. Well, it looks like you listened to him. Thanks, Tristan. Back to you, Kevin. All right, David, thank you. And that'll wrap it up, folks. For Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. The 2K Sports Post Game Show. Thanks, Kevin. Now we have the opportunity to present our Jordan player of the game, Tristan Thompson. He made countless big plays in this one, and that's what they've been encouraging him to do more of. Could be a great confidence builder for him going forward. That's the kind of game they want to see from this guy every night. You know, he always contributed as a player, but tonight he was the most important player. He did everything. And when they get a game like this out of him, especially on the road, 
it makes the team look a whole lot more dangerous. From an offensive standpoint, he deserves a pat on the back tonight. He helped his team set the tone and the pace early on, gave the defense fits. Can't ask for much more. And that's it for tonight. But we've got a whole new NBA season ahead of us. For Shaquille O'Neal, for Kenny the Jet Smith, for Kevin Harlan, wherever he might be, and the entire 2K Sports crew, I'm Ernie Johnson. We'll see you again very soon.